Welcome to the online briefing for the Pegasus Classic, the Fendleton and I Clinic Teams Challenge and the Terra Firma. Special thanks to our sponsors, our key sponsor Pack and Save, also to Fendleton and I Clinic, Frontrunner, Christchurch City Council and our other team of sponsors. Some general rules for the race, ensure you wear your timing chip throughout the race on your left ankle. Your race number must be worn on the front for the, both the bike and the run legs and your torso must be covered during the bike and the run legs. Also there is no drafting on the bike. First up in the Pegasus Classic you have the swim. You may get into the water before the start to do a warm up but you must clear the water at least 5 minutes before the start. Your swim course will be 500 metres. The northern buoy will be situated off to your left. You're following the blue line on the map you can see now. You need to wear the swim cap provided. The course is a clockwise course from the beach. You will start with your toes in the water, swim to towards the far side of the lake to the first buoy which will be to your left. Make a right hand turn going around the buoy, swim along the back side of the lake to the next yellow buoy, turn right and that will lead you into the small beach which is next to the bridge. There will be a orange buoy on that beach as a sighter um, so you can guide your way in. In terms of the starts, we will have the males and females starting together uh, and in all likelihood the teams will be starting at the same time subject to numbers. In terms of safety in the lake, there will likely be some weed out there, so just be aware of that when you may swim through it, no need to panic. If you do get into problems, we will have an IRB on the water along with a team of board paddlers. If you get into trouble, raise your arm and they will come to your rescue. If you hold on to the boat or any of the board paddlers, you will not get disqualified. Uh, you can then get your breath back and carry on. If you're unable to complete the swim, it's critical that you do let the timing team know. Go over to the finish line, find the timing team and hand in your race number. Special thanks to our swim sponsor Blue 70. If you'd like to buy some Blue 70 products, they are the fastest in the water, as worn by Dylan McNeese. And you can go into the front runner and they will look after you there for all your wetsuit and goggle and triathlon related needs. Make sure you say you did the triathlon festival or take in proof of your entry and they will look after you with a special deal. On to the bike course. It is three laps for a total of around 15 kilometres. It's your responsibility to know the course and count your laps. The course is the same for the Pegasus Classic, the Teams Challenge and the Terra Firma. Uh, you, once you're exiting the transition area, you cannot get on your bike until you have crossed over the mount line. And then you may carry on with your bike course. The course there are quite a few turns, so take extra care around the transition area where riders will be entering and exiting the course. A special notice is there will be sections of the course where you're riding on the right hand side of the road. As you can see on this map, if you look to the bottom right corner, when you start your ride you'll go along the dotted line, make a left hand turn and on that section of the road you will be on the left side. When you get to the end of that street and you turn right into Hodgkinson Street, you will be on the right side of the road. Just repeating, you'll be on the right side of the road. You will then turn into Infinity Drive, again staying on the right hand side of the road. As you progress down that street, you will then be forced to merge back onto the left hand side and carry on with your lap. When you're coming through for your second and third laps past the finish area you'll need to merge onto the right hand side of the road uh, along Pegasus Main Street. You'll make the right hand turn into that side street which runs off the bridge and you'll be on the right side of the road up that street then you will turn right again into Hodgkinson, staying on the right, and right back into Infinity Drive, again staying on the right. It will all be coned fairly heavily, so it should be fairly obvious, but just be aware of it. Also take extra care at the northern end of the course at Tiharanui Drive, as it is fairly narrow. General rules of the bike course, the helmets must be worn at all times during the bike section. Keep left at all times, blocking or restricting the ability of cyclists to pass is prohibited. There is no drafting out there, which means you need to leave three bike lengths between yourself and the rider in the front. Uh, blatant drafting will result in a one minute penalty being added to your time at the finish, and dangerous riding will result in a disqualification. 
Do not remove your bike from your bike rack until your helmet is fastened and do not remove your helmet until your bike is racked. There is no crossing the centre line out there or in theory the centre line if there is not one on the road. The roads are not closed to normal traffic vehicles and the New Zealand road code rules must be obeyed at all time. When you complete your bike ride, you will ride towards the dismount line and you must get off your bike before you cross that line. And just remember, you need to keep your helmet fastened until you re-rack your bike. On to the run leg. One lap of the lake is 2.5 kilometres. For the Pegasus Classic, you'll do two laps in a clockwise direction. The team's race, the final run is two laps. If you're doing the run bike run team's option, your first runner will only do one lap, so two and a half k's. So teams, one lap for your first runner and two laps for your second runner. If you're doing the terra firma, both your runs are one lap only. You must stay on the paths at all times and you must keep to the left to allow others to come past. There will be an aid station shortly after you start the run which you can also utilise on your second lap as well. It will only carry water. When you come down the finishing chute at the end of the run you will have a volunteer take your timing chip you then can stick around, enjoy the other racing, wait around for the prize giving and watching the elite athletes. Please be conscious of other competitors when you have completed your race and you are collecting your equipment. Okay, in terms of the transition layer, you'll see here when you exit the swim, there is a crossover point with the run course. If you're coming out of the swim and there are runners coming through, you must give way to them, but we will try to marshal it as well as we possibly can. Always note that the flow of the transition area is from the northern end of the lake to the southern end of the lake, so you're always entering at the bridge end and exiting at the end where the medical center is, the playground and the cafe, etc. For teams, note there is two team tag areas. So team tag one will be when you come out of the swim or your first runner finishes. Team tag two will be when your bike, your cyclist has racked their bike and the runner is getting ready for the final run leg. A few other notes for the teams racing, if you are doing the swim option, you will either be starting with the Pegasus Classic athletes or there will be a wave behind subject to numbers. If you are doing the run, bike, run teams option, your first runner will start on the beach behind where the swimmers start and you will be starting with the terra firma athletes. With regards to the team, as I mentioned before, there are two team tag boxes within the transition area. One for the first swim or the first run um, to tag the cyclist. So the cyclist will then run over to their bike, pick it up off the rack and head out onto their bike course. When the cyclist has completed the ride, they will come in, re-rack their bike and then run over and do the tag. The tag is actually the changing of the timing chip so you must remove it from the ankle of the person doing the first leg and then pass it on to the person of the second leg. When the teams are finishing and your final runner is coming down the finishing chute we allow and encourage all team members to run down the finishing chute together just making sure that you stay out of any other participants that want to maybe do a sprint finish. With regards to the terra firma, you will be starting behind the beach on the footpath or just on the grass next to the footpath and you'll be starting the same time as the triathletes. Just to reiterate your distances, you'll be doing one lap on the first run, so 2.5 kilometres, three laps on the bike, the same as the Pegasus Classic, and then your final run will be one lap only. Thanks for tuning in and getting ready for your race. We will be doing a very brief safety briefing on race morning, but that will be just going over some key safety aspects. Have a great race, and we look forward to seeing you out there.